is Luis Sandoval FightHype.com here with Shakur Stevenson. First of all, man, I'm always used to seeing pro, uh, guys that go make their debut do four rounds. You did six. It was there a reason behind you doing six instead of the four? Uh, I actually fought five rounds in the amateur and the WSB. I fought two five-round fights. So I felt like it was no point in me fighting four. Mm. And I feel like I'm well developed coming into the pros. I'm not like any other just 19 year old amateur coming into the pros that need them four rounds. I felt like forget the four rounds, give me six, and we did it. And it was good. Feel any different without the headgear and the smaller gloves in there? Did it feel any different than it normally would with any other fight? Uh, I already was fighting without headgear in the amateurs, but uh, with the smaller gloves, the gloves felt way better. The gloves felt a lot better. I felt like I could. On the way when you hit them, you yeah, feel I felt like I could feel my punch, but I still got to work on my power. It's still a lot to work on, and that's what I'm gonna go do. How did you feel your, uh, your performance was? You had a. Uh, Two gold medalists in your corner, you're a silver medalist yourself. You had Andre Ward and Clarissa Shields on that. Did you feel any pressure? And how did you feel you did? Uh, I felt like I handled the pressure pretty well. I felt like if you even watch my walkout, if you watch my whole persona in the ring, I felt like I was calm, I was ready, I was focused. Uh, I, I read my performance at an eight. I feel like I, I could still work on a lot of stuff, but like I said, if you watch my walkout, everything, I was calm, I was good, and I feel like I put on a good performance. I hate to use the reference for Tupac, but all eyes on me. I mean, I feel like all eyes are always on you. Do, you. do you already feel that, that everything you do, everything you're gonna do in your career is gonna be looked at very closely compared to other people? Uh, that's what comes with the territory when you're Olympic silver medalist and uh, you're a very likable person. You got, a, uh, you got a lot of people looking at you. You got a lot of people expecting big things for you. I try not to get caught up in it. I try to focus on what I gotta do. Uh, I'm not in there to impress anybody else. I'm in there to impress myself. And I love boxing, so I'm trying to have fun with it. What are the conversations like with you and Andre Ward like? Because he's a guy that, that started like you, you guys made your brand in the Olympics, and now he's a world champion. Uh, I'm extremely blessed uh, to have Andre Ward in my life. I'm extremely blessed to, to have him in my career and dealing with me the way he do. And I'm glad that Andre Ward is here for me the way he is. And he gave me a lot of advice telling me, stay focused, that's the main thing, keep God first. And I'm glad I got a good role model like come in my life. You know, Jesse Magdaleno told you in there that guys like you, all you think about is being a world champion. But what I think about is not a lot of people have been able to do what you do, represent your country and win a medal. That not a lot of people can say that. How did how did that feeling feel? Uh, I know you haven't won the world title yet, but just being able to uh, do that. I felt, I felt that was a great feeling. I feel like where I come from, a lot of people don't really get that experience, and especially my age, where I come from, mm -hmm. we don't really get to see stuff like that. So. Yeah. I'm glad I had the city on my back and I was living through a lot of people out there. But it's time to keep that in the past and let them live through me in the pros now. Two more questions. Um, who did you grow up watching? Who, who did you get your, your, your style from or borrow thing from or what fighter did you grow up looking at? My favorite fighter, who was my favorite, who's been my favorite fighter since a little kid, Andre Ward. Mm. Uh, I love to watch Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is a beast. Uh, Penelope Whitaker. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, Terrence Crawford and uh, Lemachenko lately, so. Ooh. A lot of those guys have things in common, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all them winners and good boxers.